Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about how I chose my name, both my first and my middle name. Now, my first name, as you can already tell, is kind of unique and kind of weird and not really something that anybody else would choose, but I really like it. And I'd like to explain to you guys, you know, the whole process of me choosing my name and then choosing to change it legally, even though I haven't done that yet. I do really want to do that. So let's get started. The origin of my name comes from high school. It was my junior year. I was in newspaper class. Yes, I wrote for the paper. And one of my classmates, after hearing my last name, called me Hoagie. Like, just as a term of endearment, you know, just, hey there, Hoagie. Like, and I, I thought it was kind of cool. Like, I didn't really have a gender neutral name. My name was very feminine and it still gives me dysphoria just thinking about it. But I really liked Hoagie. It was gender neutral. It was fun. It was, it was interesting. It was unique. And I really latched on to it. I was, I was signing my art as Hoagie with like a little X over the eye. And I still do that. <laughs> And I was telling people, hey, you know, I really like the nickname Hoagie. You could call me Hoagie if you wanted to. And some people were like, yeah, sure. And other people were like, that's weird. I'm not going to do that. But for the most part, people knew that I liked being called Hoagie, but didn't actually use it as my name until college. In college, I introduced myself as Hoagie. I was like, hey, guys, my name's Hoagie. I asked my teachers to call me Hoagie. I asked my friends to call me Hoagie. Nobody really knew my dead name unless they were a teacher and saw it on the roster. And for the most part, everyone that I knew in college called me Hoagie. Once I came out as non-binary, I decided that I really wanted to officially go by Hoagie. Like not, I hadn't decided at the time that I wanted to change my name, like legally, but I did want to be known as Hoagie. So I told my parents, I was like, please call me Hoagie. This is my new name now. Cause my parents were pretty much cool with me being non-binary, but I was worried about, it was like, well, we've known you as your dead name for so many years. And I was afraid they weren't going to like it, but they actually were really cool with it. They knew that I liked the nickname from like high school, but now it was, it wasn't as big of a change because I think my mom was already calling me Hoagie as a term of endearment. So she was perfectly on board with it. And it's kind of interesting that when my dad had dementia at the end of his life and he had forgotten basically everything, he never forgot me or my mom. And he called me Hoagie like the whole time. He was like, how's Hoagie? Is Hoagie coming over today? And it was, it felt good. Like my dad acknowledge that that was who I am and this is me now and not the person that I was before and I don't know I still look fondly on that kind of those kind of memories. I decided around 2017 when I graduated from college that I wanted to legally change my name to Hoagie because it gave me a lot of dysphoria to realize that my dead name was going to be on my diploma. Like forever. <laughs> um, and it does say my dead name on my diploma. Um, because I, it, it, it was legal at the time and I couldn't ask them to change it, but they did call me Hoagie when I walked up to accept my degree. They were cool with that. You can write on a little card that says, you know, this is how I want to be referred to in the ceremony. And so they did that and I was happy with that, but it still says my full dead name on my diploma. And I, I hope one day, once I legally change it, that maybe I can get them to change it retroactively. I don't know. So after deciding to change my first name, I realized that I had to come up with a middle name. And that was more difficult because I liked a lot of middle names. I did. But I didn't want to have like five fucking middle names, which I've known trans people who have five fucking middle names. So I really thought about it. And... It wasn't until my parents died that I realized exactly what I wanted my middle name to be. I have a maternal uncle named J and my dad's full initials are HJH. 
And I thought it would be kind of cool if my middle name was J because I would have my dad's initials and also I would be honoring my mother's brother. So it just kind of worked. I, I really liked the name. I'd known people named J that weren't just my uncle and they were all really cool people. And I thought, you know, this is a simple name. It's gender neutral. It's, it's quick and easy and it's not unique. So if like someone doesn't like calling me Hoagie, they think it's weird. First of all, fuck you. But if they really insist on not calling me that, then they can call me by my middle name. And I was really excited to change my name, but unfortunately COVID happened. And I don't really think I can do that now because I think I have to go into a courtroom and hand them pieces of paper and like get it notarized. And then they have to approve my name change. And I am not going into a courthouse right now. Okay. I'm not going anywhere until I get the vaccine. So that was off the table. And not only that, but like, I would have to like go everywhere and change my name everywhere. I'd have to go to the DMV. I have to go to social security. I'd have to go to my bank. I have to do all this stuff. And I don't know how much of that stuff I can do remotely. Like I know the DMV requires you to go in and I have to get my permit reissued anyway. And I can't do that because I'm not going into the DMV. In the end, I been worried for a while that people wouldn't take me seriously if my legal name was Hoagie. Because I've had Uber drivers ask me, because it says Hoagie, you know, on my, on my Uber profile. They're like, is that your real name? That can't be your real name. Did your mom name you that? And it's like, it's my real name. No, my mom didn't name me that, but it is my real name. <sighs> and it gets awkward. I've, I've had this experience so many times when people do not believe that it's my real name. And like, they don't want to call me that because they want to be like official and formal. Like, why do you care? This is how I want you to call me. So I'm still worried about that. I mean, if it comes right down to it, call me Jay. Just call me fucking Jay. It's fine. It's still my name. But I'd like you to call me Hoagie because I resonate with that name. I identify with that name. I really like that name. Hoagie Carmichael is a person. Like, I'm not the only person in the world who's ever been called Hoagie. It has a precedent. So, I... It really frustrates me. And it worries me. But when it comes right down to it, once it's my legal name, they have no excuse not to call me Hoagie. And if they have a problem with it, they can suck it. But, yeah, that's the story of me choosing my name. And I know that it's very different from a lot of people. I know a lot of people distinctly choose their name. They like go through a bunch of names. I'm like, this one really resonates with me as opposed to mine was just like given to me in high school and I really liked it. So Justin, thank you for that name because it's me now. I know this is a short video, but I don't really have much else to talk about regarding my name. So thank you for watching. And if you like my content, consider liking and subscribing. I put out new videos once a week, usually on Wednesdays. And I look forward to hearing from you guys in the comments if you'd like to comment. But uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. Mwah!